Good afternoon, I am Vanessa Hi. Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the streets, 919 FM and online, Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, another day of protest over bad roads in South Trinidad. Husband and wife shot outside their home in Shabona's husband dies. Internationally, the Joe Biden administration to announce $1.75 in funding to upgrade rail stations across the U.S. And now the news is... In detail. Another uh, day of blocked private. roads I'm and burning fine. debris and in South detail. Trinidad as fed up residents protest so over bad true. roads. So Following protests in Barapur, Princess Town, and St. Mary's yesterday, the, the demonstrations continued in Maruga this morning as residents God called on the authorities to repair landslides and potholes along the their roads. The frustrated residents Heavenly say they are Father, fed up of having to navigate through roads with crater-like potholes. Meanwhile, taxi drivers and residents of Makalay in Claxton Bay are also protesting to highlight the poor road conditions in their area. The drivers blame Wasa and big trucks for the current state of the roads. They want the Ministry of Works to intervene and fix them. In other news, residents of Upper and Lower Kamuto are pleading with the National Water Company for pipeborne water supply. The residents alleged that it has been a week without water, and Wasa has not provided much assistance for the community's ongoing water shortage since last year. According to one resident, while the water supply was never consistent throughout the week, they had water for at least every other day. The resident stated that despite several complaints about the water shortages to Massa, the agency's representatives were unable to provide an explanation. Meanwhile, according to reports, Massa's corporate communications manager, Daniel Plenty, has stated that service to the area has been disrupted by ongoing emergency repair work in the nation's northeast region. He said while repairs are being done, affected customers can request a truck supply of water through Wasser's call centre. In more news, a Shabonis man who was shot along with his wife last night has died. 29-year-old Dwayne Robinson of Goodwill Road Enterprise was sitting outside his home talking with his 41-year-old wife around 8.45 p.m. when a white Nissan 80 wagon stopped and the occupants began shooting at them. Robinson was shot several times when his wife was shot in the right buttock. They were taken to hospital by medical personnel who were called to the scene. However, Robinson was pronounced dead while his wife is being treated. Did you notice how hot it was yesterday? That's because Trinidad's daily average temperature peaked at 33.7 degrees Celsius. According to last evening's update and forecast from the TNT Met office, Tobago was a bit cooler with a maximum temperature at Crown Point recorded at 30.3 degrees Celsius. According to today's forecast, temperatures are expected to be just as hot with temperatures peaking at 33 degrees Celsius. TNT is also expected to experience more with a high dust day with the Met Office advising that dust concentrations would remain mild to moderate for most of this week. Sensitive individuals are advised to continue taking the necessary precautions. Finally, on the international scene, the Joe Biden administration is expected to announce today $1.75 billion in infrastructure funding to improve accessibility at the nation's public rail stations, allowing local transit authorities to retrofit stations with elevators to accommodate travelers with disabilities. The White House estimates that over 900 transit stations across the U.S. known as legacy stations are not fully accessible. The announcement is the latest in a series of steps the Department of Transportation has taken to improve accessibility in transportation. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 99 FM, and online, Facebook, and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, another day of protest over bad roads in South Trinidad. Husband and wife shot outside their home in Shabona's husband dies. Internationally, the Joe Biden administration to announce $1.75 million in funding to upgrade rail stations across the U.S. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas.